Hey, good afternoon. Today I'm talking about doorway pull-up bars. I have behind me the two examples that we're going to use and I'll go into the details behind them later. Uh, this video is sponsored by FitBeast who provided the pull-up bars and basically I want to talk about why you should have a doorway pull-up bar or at least why you should consider one and then uh, what is the better choice for you based on the two different kind of bars. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm very big on having a home gym space, or at least if you can't make a home gym space where you live, at least having basic access to things that you might do in a gym without having to go somewhere for it. So the this is one of the first priorities, I think, and it's also one of the more minimalistic ones, is getting yourself a doorway pull-up bar, because I think it's not even just about pull-ups. I think just being able to hang to stretch out the back and shoulders is very beneficial. I don't think you have to be into fitness to get benefits from that. In fact, uh, some years back, I suggested my grandma get a doorway pull-up bar in her one bedroom apartment because she was having trouble with her shoulders and back. So it's just a way to stretch out. You don't have to be doing pull-ups, but having somewhere to hang, I think is this basic fundamental. And you don't wanna have to drive to the gym just to be able to do this basic stretch of hanging yourself out, which I think has a lot of benefits. So doorway pull-up bar, as as far as kind of home gym equipment goes, it's pretty minimalistic as far as space goes. It's easy to set up and take down. You just have to make sure that your door frame is one that can handle it and you have to make sure to use it properly, but I'll go into that later on. But it, it's, it's something you can take with you if you move. It's um, pretty minimal level of commitment. For example, you could buy dumbbells, but then you have to take them with you. They take up space. If you get stronger, you have to get heavier ones. The pull-up bar is just kind of a one-time commitment. If you have a, a well-built one, it should last you for years as long as you use it properly. Um, I want to say the first doorway pull-up bar that I bought was in 2008, 2009, and uh, I had it for maybe 12 or 13 years. And when I let go of it, it was because I moved and I didn't need it anymore. It wasn't because it was no longer operational. Uh, they shouldn't, again, if you have the proper doorway and the proper setup they don't do any damage to the doorway but this is of course uh, dependent on the individual situation but overall I think most people should get a doorway pull-up bar in the house because there's a lot of uses for it uh, both for strength training and just for general health and it's uh, a pretty minimalistic investment as far as your health goes. And I think that one other huge benefit in having a doorway pull-up bar, this is more so if you're into training, if you're trying to get your first pull-up, if you're working on, for example, one-arm pull-ups, front levers, is being able to utilize the greasing the groove method. That was popularized by Pavel Tsatsalin, if you're familiar with his work. But basically the idea is, okay, you can do a workout where you do a certain number of sets and reps, but another way to work on a strength skill is to do sub-maximal repetition throughout the day. So let's say, for example, you're working on your first pull-up, right? If you have a doorway pull-up bar, one thing that you can do is, let's say you do one honest pull-up attempt every time you walk by. So this is, I put this one up next to my kitchen, could be your bedroom, bathroom, whatever. So, okay, I'm working on my first pull-up. Every time I walk by, maybe I do like a couple seconds chin up hold, and then I walk by. Not a big deal. It's not something that necessarily right, stresses me out, but then imagine throughout the day how many I'm doing and how that accumulates. So that's one thing that a doorway pull-up bar really gives you the advantage because you don't have to go to the gym to do the workout. You can do it piecemeal, little by little, and actually build up a quite high volume. Okay, so the first kind of pull-up bar that I'm gonna talk about from FitBeast is the Friction Fit Bar. So this is a single bar and then it has these end pieces with uh, this kind of red plastic. So what's gonna happen is you wanna make sure that your doorway is flat, that it's solid, and what you're gonna do is measure it and twist it out, and then these will lock it in place. So I'm gonna put it into place. I'm going to twist the bar, hopefully in the right direction, hopefully making sure that it's even. And this kind of bar is going to hold itself up by friction. 
So as always, and I'll talk a little bit more about the safety aspects of a dual weight pull-up bar, but there are certain movements that you don't want to do on these based on your load. But I'm going to twist that until it gets nice and snug. And then these red guys are the locks, right? So what they're going to do is lock this guy in place so it doesn't spin. And then when you set that up, this is really important. Don't just jump into it. Make sure you slowly hang, put the weight in your arms and see if it can take your weight. If there's any amount of sliding, it means you have to make it tighter. So it's really important to keep safety measures in place because uh, I've seen and I've had my own troubles with the pull up bars. So there is always a risk. You just have to make sure that you're doing it safely. So once it's up, then you can do, for example, your pull-ups. The key to make sure that everything is safe is to only apply a static load to the bar. So what does that mean? It means that if I'm just hanging and there's no movement, the load is more or less the same as my body weight. Uh, movements that you don't want to do on this kind of bar, any kind of kipping pull-up, any kind of jerky movements, because those movements add a swing and an acceleration and deceleration. And when that happens, the weight on the bar is no longer just your body weight. Sometimes it can hit much higher than you may think. And these kind of bars generally aren't rated for those kind of forces. So hang the bar up, make sure it's safe, test it regularly. And when you apply weight, don't jump into it slowly transition the weight to make sure everything is smooth. So this kind of pull-up bar, the benefits are that it is very minimalistic. It's uh, You can set it up, take it down, or just leave it up. It only offers you one kind of grip, which you can still, of course, change your hands. You can do mixed grip pull-ups, right? You can do overhand, underhand, uh, if you want to get real fancy, you can put a towel over it and hold on to it, and that uh, gets you a lot more grip strength. You can do your levers, just go very slow, very controlled. So it's a good thing to have, especially if you're not sure of the structure of your doorway, which I'll talk about when we get to the next bar. But yeah, as always, just make sure it's safe. But once it's up, you can leave it up. Uh, it's very easy to take with you, it doesn't take much space. So if I were to move, it would be very easy to take this one with me to my next location. So those are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the friction fit pull-up bar. Okay, and then the second type of pull-up bar looks like this. And this actually goes in the top of your door frame. So one of the main negatives for this one is that you do have to have a specific kind of door frame. If the door frame doesn't work, you don't want to force it because then it could potentially do damage to the door or result in injuries and you don't want either of those. However, if you do have a sturdy door frame that has this uh, kind of lip on top of it, that's square, that's solid, that's wooden, it will fit this kind of pull-up bar that goes in it. And actually, this is my preference between the two types of pull-up bars. Uh, this is the one that I had for all those years. It was the same one. It's been in many doorways. Uh, I think I prefer the structure of this because it's got more points that it attaches to. So I think it distributes the load better. Uh, this one, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit heavier, so it's not as compact. Uh, these guys do actually fold. so. See that it does fold flat and then attach itself. So that's also a cool feature if you needed to pack this one. And then the main difference that I'll show you is it's also got a few different kind of grips for your pull-ups. But basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna go on two sides of the door and see these, I hope that you can see that on camera. This is gonna go on top of that lip on the other side of the door. Then of course, for safety, you want to make sure it's even. You want to make sure that it's solidly attached. Uh, don't skimp on this part. I think it's really important. And then once it's up, give it a, just like I talked about before, give it a gentle hang because you're not only testing how it takes the weight, but you're also helping to lock it in place so it doesn't move. Right, so I'm gonna gently hang, apply the weight. Okay, it feels solid, it feels safe. So now we're good to go. 
And so the main benefit of this one, I think this is sits up higher. So I think if you wanted just to leave it up as a permanent fixture, I think this one works better for it. If you wanted to remove it, there's no twisting involved. It's very simple. Literally just take it off and put it back on. So that is definite advantage. Um, the width, so you can move these red guys because you don't want the steel to be on the door. These, uh, this red plastic is what's gonna help not damage the door when it takes the weight. Uh, you can move them in or out, but you do have to measure the door. So if you have kind of an old house or maybe it's weird construction, it may not fit the door frames. So you wanna make sure it has regular door frames because again, I've seen I've seen the structure of the frame and I've experienced it actually fail. So you have to make sure that your doorways are the right ones that can fit it. But once it's up, so this one has a few different kind of pull up grips. So up here, that's gonna be your standard bar, right? Then you have these parallel grips like that. And notice how in between each pull up, again, we still have to factor in safety. So in between each pull up, I'm slowly applying the weight. I'm not doing any kind of jerky pull ups. I'm not doing any kind of kipping. If you want to work kipping movements, these are not the ones to do on your doorway pull up bar. Those are the ones to go to a bar that's actually hooked up and rigged in a way that it can take much greater forces in your body weight. You have the wide grip, right? So you have the, what do they call these? The lap pull up. You have this guy, so there's a little bit more space in the middle, so you have a lot more different options to hang from. That being said, uh, for me personally, I don't think all of these different options are necessary. Maybe the wide one is nice and the parallel one is nice to do once in a while, but for most of the things that I do, just use a regular bar. If I'm doing mixed grip, towel, one arm, uh, chin ups, whatever, uh, I still prefer just the regular bar for that, but uh, of course everyone has different goals, so it's good to have different options. But that being said, yeah, like once it's up, it's up. So this one, because it goes kind of in the top of the door, I'm not that tall, but I have no problem walking through it because it has kind of this window. It's also good. Even if you are taller, uh, you're less likely to walk into the bar. Um, Feels solid. Again, main thing is to always pull down, always gradually apply the weight, always be safe about what you're doing. But other than that, I much prefer this style of bar as a permanent fixture. Again, you could have it in your, uh, in your bathroom, in just a random door in the house. And it's a good thing to have because if you had nothing else in your home gym, only a pull-up bar, you could do a lot of uh, pushing and leg work on the floor, and then you can do pulling and hanging work with the bar. And that's already basically a full gym without the use of weights or other specialized equipment. So I think for the investment, I think this is one of the more worthwhile pieces to have, especially if you live in a space where you don't have access to a home gym, because let's say, and I have this, right? I, I say I just feel the need to hang. What if you had to drive to the gym just to be able to hang from something? You don't want that. You want to have easy access to it. So that's where the doorway pull-up bar comes in. And of course, we're talking about different kinds of pull-ups, but uh, even if you're not a fitness enthusiast, even if you're not trying to learn pull-ups and get stronger, I think for general health, very basic exercise, just hanging. So if I can't, maybe I don't have the grip strength or the shoulder strength even to hang with my feet dangling, I don't need that. I can still leave my feet on the floor, right? So I grab the bar, I gradually take the weight off my feet, but I control it. Right here, already I'm getting a great stretch in my shoulders, in my back, it feels good. If I feel good, I can take the hands off. But here you're getting that stretch and that grip strength benefit. So even if you're not into fitness, I think just having this, just having this thing in your home that you can hang from and stretch yourself out is hugely beneficial. And yeah, really good option if you wanted to add more of a, a grip strength benefit and really develop the grips and forearms just from hanging is you drape a towel and then you give it a good squeeze. Again, don't jump into anything. Go slow and then see if you can hold yourself up 
hanging onto the towel. Really simple variation. You don't have to lift your feet up, but just that benefit of hanging and grip strength is fantastic to do for anyone, regardless of whether or not you have fitness goals. Okay, so then the question is, which pull-up bar should you get? My personal preference is this one. If you have a doorway that can handle um, the, the little hooks on top, I think this feels more stable. And again, I just like to leave it up as a permanent fixture. And then every time you walk by, you can do a pull-up, you can do a front lever, you can hang, you can do whatever you have it there. If you're not sure about your doorway or you want something that takes up less space, the friction fit one is still a good option. Uh, so you have the option of both of those. Again, if you're not sure what kind of doorway you have, if you're not sure the materials, if you don't have this lip, if the width is weird, this has a little bit more versatility with how it can attach. But uh, for both of them, you do have to look out for safety. You do have to make sure that it can hold your weight. You have to make sure that you hold your own weight with control without these jerky movements, without the accelerations and deceleration. Uh, as I mentioned, this video is sponsored by FitBeast, who provided both of these pull-up bars. Uh, you can purchase them on their website or on Amazon. And if you like the product, I uh, will put in uh, my 10% discount code, which allows you to get a discount. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about pull-up bars or home gyms, or you want to see any other videos from me, let me know. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.